Hi all, I am here again on occasion that uh, my first client um, appeared to my coaching session and we were working with um, on getting him back into creative writing. And uh, I'm not going to disclose any details of our session naturally, but I just had several ideas that I thought are more widely applicable um given that there is a lot of people probably who would want to do creative writing of any sort and uh, there are some general considerations that i can give because um i've been an, i have been an experienced teacher of creative writing uh, formally i started in january of 2022 uh, teaching creative writing in the creative writing school fully online for the Russian speakers. Uh, that is the school organized by a known Russian writer, Maya Kucherska. I think her works were translated into English. And our students are from all over the world, but the language of instruction is Russian. And prior to that, um, I've been constantly as a writer, uh, giving a lot of feedback on the writings that I've been reading, the writings that my friends produced, the writings that uh, the community produced. So I have a lot of experiences in this um, sense, and I want to share some additional considerations. You can take it as the continuation of my previous video on how to write. So what I noticed is very often happening with the writers on various um, social media is that um, we write kind of goallessly, goallessly and sen senselessly in terms of uh, we are, uh, we don't know what we write. We write as a flow, which is totally fine at some point, And that's a necessary stage. You know, when anthropologists only go to the fieldwork, they have to take a lot of notes because they don't exactly know what it is that they're going to end up uh, writing. They have some design in mind already and some questions that they're asking of the interlocutors. But they are open to the possibilities of discovery. They're open to the idea that there will be some uh, new observations that will illuminate the field differently for them. So uh, that is fine to have this stage with writing when you are writing just a number of, for instance, posts on social media, or you are writing um, notes in your journal, you're journaling, let's say you already built that habit. You have this ability to write, you are not intimidated by a an empty paper, you are not intimidated by the clean file, the word file that you're open or something on the, uh, on the cloud and you are not afraid to type in it. So that is great. That is a great point to be in and that is a great um, ability to have. But the thing with writing is that in order to have it written, you have to know what it is that you are writing. So you have to engage with the question of uh, what is the genre that I'm exploring? What it is that I'm gonna have written? What it is that I'm gonna produce? And if that is gonna be a short story, that is one world. And if it's gonna be a novel that's a completely different genre that requires different set of thoughts, it requires different kind of studies, that requires different kinds of readings. Uh, it requires different type of thinking. For example, what would be the character? How will that character change over time? What kind of events they will encounter? Where will you begin? Where will the culmination be? And what would be the resolution? What would be the conflict that will be tormenting your character? 
what will be the struggle that uh, he or she should overcome? Uh, what is the broader message that you're wanting to be sending to the outside world? And you don't have to kind of have um, answers to all of that before you even begin to write. That is not possible. That is something that you discover in the process of writing, but you have to be thinking these questions. You have to be asking them of yourself. And uh, agree that if you're writing a nonfiction, if you're writing an article, if you're writing a research, if you are writing a, a study, if you are taking some sort of notion and you begin exploring it, whether it be philosophical notion, whether it will be like a problem that humanity has, you will have a completely different set of questions, right? You will ask yourself, okay, what is my research question? That is something that academics love. What is my research question? What is the significance of me answering my research question? Because you can spend years researching anything, but it has to be interesting to others too. Like you have to explain to others what it is that they would, how, how would they basically benefit, right? In this like world of... Um, practicality and capitalism, how will they benefit from me uh, asking this question and answering them, that question, right? So you have to answer that question that you are asking. You have to, uh, you, you are asking that question in order to provide an answer to it. You are not asking it just to ask it, right? Um, so you might have several different uh, answers. You might have several different hypotheses. And one of those hypotheses will be the one that you are going to end up defending. And you're going to defend it by presenting evidence to bolster your argument, right? To create your case. So that is a completely different type of writing than creative writing, for instance, right? Nonfiction writing. So in order to have something written, you have to know what it is that you are writing. If you are just kind of writing, and that's and this amorphous set of notes. Again, that's great. You have this ability, but now you have the opportunity to move forward, and now you have to the opportunity to create something that actually has design, create something that has the beginning, the development, and the ending, and that will be completely different um, points for any genre, right? So again, if you are writing a poem, for instance, again, that is a completely different mechanics behind that. And there might be many models of this mecha mechanics um, and uh, you are not gonna end up with a, with a novel writing a poem and vice versa. And if you're writing a stream of posts on social media, you are not going to end up with a ready work that is finished, that is a novel or a nonfiction study of something. That's just not going to happen. You have to literally open that file, commit to it. Uh, and if that sounds scary and not pleasant and stuff, then like you don't have to force yourself into this form. But in order to have it written, you have to understand what it is that you are writing. So it's just a tiny um, addition to what we've been discussing previously. And um, I'm hoping to develop some of these um, ideas I've been um, throwing at you. Um, I also wanted to record a video on decluttering. That would be a completely different topic but still within this project of life coaching. And I do invite you to um, uh, book a session with me per perhaps, or by the very least do like this video and leave me a comment. Okay, bye-bye and have a wonderful day.